Thank you, ladies. See you all the night. And make sure you stash some of that cash, okay? Thank okay. you. Have a See good you night. tonight. It's me! Uh, 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 Dachi son? Mm -hmm. So... You actually know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I, uh, lost my job. What? And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Well, that stinks. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah, I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Oh, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot and left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Yeah, I can't say I cared much about the phone. Well, sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? Smartphones have a system that pinpoints the phone's location. That's GPS. You can put apps on a phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. You get it? Uh... Kind of? <laughs> You know, you never said why you got fired. Ah, uh, a whole sheet of charges. Breaking and entering, uh, assault, interference with a public servant. I guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant it all got dropped. Ah, uh, was any of that my fault? Of course it was. How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Did he mention it was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, being two of them. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's that? He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamurocho. I'm sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa only person I know of with ties to the Commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. At least, up until the man put a bullet in his chest. Not up until. I still am. You need more self-respect. Why do you care so much about exposing the Commissioner's corruption? Well, it's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge? That story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. A 
Before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My perp was innocent. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well, all of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why did he backtrack like that? He was coerced by the chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? Well, by that time, he'd been offered a transfer to Tokyo police. The last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kusumi was convicted and sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it when he hung himself from prison. Where was Hori Nouchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, playing dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So everybody who can is always trying to get transferred. Especially the higher-ups. Rats, leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. Well, I felt the same way back when I was a young rookie. So I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the public security division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day, and next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Horinouchi must have figured he was safe. And now he's the police commissioner. Now, if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa- Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh shit, that's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. I'll go with you. Huh? Why? I'm as unemployed and broke as you now. Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah. I didn't save a yen. I thought I'd have my sweet-ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, honestly. Even as a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. <laughs> yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! You spent it all. <laughs> they let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses? Hey, part of it is just bad luck. It's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. Come on, let's get over to Hello Work already.